we're here at the staging area of the Sea of Orange Parade for Oklahoma State University's homecoming. And with me is the first cowgirl, Ann Hargis. Hello, Bert. We've also got Christiana Factory here, who is going to tell us about her float. Yes. And then Grant Dixon, who's head of the whole thing. Grant, Way to go, Grant. Thank you. congratulations of surviving this long. <laughs> you too, Christiana. You're from Stigler. Yes, sir. And you're from Oklahoma City, right? Yes, yes sir. And you're a biochemistry major? Yes, sir. Uh, and you're family science? Yes, I am. Okay, well, fantastic. Uh, how in the world do you pull all this together? Well, it takes a lot of planning and several months beforehand we start working with Rob Hill and the city of Stillwater and just all night long they've been here just getting everybody lined up and ready to go. So how many students are involved in homecoming? All together, the planning uh -huh. of it, uh, there's around 60 people on steering and 200 more in big committee and that's not counting the thousands of students that help put on the, you know, the house decoration, the sign, the harvest carnival competitions. So. And you work from January till now? January till now, yes ma'am. And there, there's, there's a lot of homecoming parades. Mm -hmm. None as good as the Sea of, of course Orange, not. but there's a lot of homecoming parades, but I don't know that anybody has what we have for walk around. Talk about walk around, and I mean, we must have had, I know, 80,000 people or so yes, sir. Yeah. every year. Yeah, this year, um, at one time, we broke a record. We had, last year was 80,000, this year we had around 82,000, so we're pretty proud of that. Um, that just, again, takes a lot of planning and uh, a lot of broadcasting, getting the word out and letting everybody know what's going to happen. And it's all about giving back, too, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Our biggest philanthropy is Harvest 2. Um, that, what, the way that kind of works is the Harvest Carnival is our longest standing homecoming tradition. It's been around since 1913, so next year will be 100 years. And here a couple years ago, we start turning into a canned food drive. So every participant and every student, every community member would bring cans to get in, and all those proceeds go to Harvest to help feed the hungry. So that's, that's fantastic. That's to have many, many other recipients. Christiana, yeah. tell, tell us about your flow. Um, we decided, since it said the life, the legend, the legacy is the theme, we decided to do a, more of a Batman theme since Dark Knight Rises just came out this summer. So we have the library and then we have Batman standing on top of the library, or AKA Pistol Pete, and then we have the little Batman symbol in the corner with uh, the two Pistol Pete guns up there. So oh, it's that's pretty right. interesting. So how long did it take to put that float together? Well, like, it took us two months to plan it out, but we actually started at the beginning of October to um, pumping and everything, and we got it done. So do your, your hands still smell like glue? Uh, yes, <laughs> it still smells like wallpaper glue. That's what I remember from being in school here. I mean, it was like two months later, my hands still smelled like glue. <laughs> yes, yes it did. Lynn and I are with a very special guest now, the Grand Marshal of the OSU Sea of Orange Homecoming Parade, General Max Bunyard. Thank you, thank General, you. Welcome. My we're, pleasure. We're thrilled pleasure. you've come back. Well, I certainly am glad to be here, and I'm deeply honored to be uh, selected to do this particular function. You uh, you were at the tail end of the Korean War, and then then you uh, you were a pilot in uh, in Vietnam. Flew uh, helicopters uh, uh, primarily in Vietnam, I see. and commanded the aerial rocket artillery battalion, which was the first that we had in the army. And uh, this is where you, uh, they call them gunships in some vernacular. But uh, what I uh, say in there, these are the guys that went in there and when the tough uh, times yeah. to, to pull the other guys out. It's it must great. be tremendous to be back at your alma mater as the Grand Marshal. Oh, well, it certainly, <clears throat> certainly is, and it's a wonderful occasion and, <clears throat> and indeed uh, a real pleasure. Well, it's a great honor to have General Bunyard back. Yes, uh, we, we from time to time have the pleasure of welcoming our general <laughs> officers, admirals, as well as generals uh, back to OSU. You're always welcome. Congratulations on being our Grand Marshal. Thank you. So I guess we better get loaded up. This yeah. parade's about oh, to start. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we hope that you'll enjoy the sights and sounds of the Sea of Orange Parade at Oklahoma State University Homecoming. See you next time. Thank you.